Hello and what is popping? It is Fuijik here and I'm going to be bringing you a custom CMF series that I've drawn and this is the Umbrella Academy uh, series based on mostly season 3 which is the recent season that just came out. I watched it and it was insane. Uh, if you haven't watched it you should check it out, it's on Netflix. Um, but yeah I've got 12 figures that I've drawn. I mean my drawing skills aren't the best, I've only just started drawing CMFs so I'll improve over time but here we have the 12 figures and we're starting off with the first one which is 5. Now 5 is a pretty iconic character, he's my favourite character, he's pretty cool. Um, so I was originally going to go for mid legs but I didn't think that suited him so instead I just went with the normal legs, I gave him his regular suit, uh, his school uniform that he usually wears and just this like medium brown coloured hair and a normal face expression. Alright moving on we got Stanley which is quote unquote uh, Diego's kid, um, so he's wearing a red jacket with a black shirt and uh, mid legs that are jeans. Um, so this is representative of what he wears, like one that the hotel. And seeing he's kind of bald, I kind of gave him this like shortish hair. All right, next we got Klaus. Now Klaus is a pretty cool figure. I like Klaus. He's a lovely character, and he always has a good fashion taste. So I wanted to represent that um, with this uh, yellow kind of and green flowery kind of. Um, shirt that he wears over his black shirt so I tried to recreate that into this torso and I think it came out right uh, next is kind of difficult with Lila I wasn't sure how to do the hair as that was the most tricky part also I'm pretty sure I based this body on season 2 um, but yeah the hair it was kind of tricky because her actual hair is like dark brown with like um, white on, on top of it so I just ended up going with this like transition sort of like fade alright next we've got Victor now um I thought that this hair, um, the, which is actually an Emmett piece, looked really good, and then I also went with the uh, season three body. Um, one of the um, outfits that he wears is like this black, kind of like jumpsuit on, on top of like, a basic white shirt, and that's basically Victor. Anyway, next we got the first Sparrow, which is Alfonso. Now I'm using what he wore at the depot when he met Diego, so he's got his kind of like tattered and like simple plain kind of um, Sparrow uniform. And he's also got a custom piece for the head, which is kind of like drooping on the side, which kind of represents his character in that sense. Alright, next we've got Sloane, who's in her actual Sparrow Academy uniform, as you can see with the black and red dual molded arms and legs. And I think this looks pretty good, it came out alright. The face is a bit iffy, um, but other than that, I think the hair as well with the gradient it is pretty good and it represents Sloane's hair. Um, next we've got Faye. Now, I was fairly certain of what I was going to do for the actual eyes and the glasses, so I think I came out right, same as the hair. For the actual um, clothing, I decided on this, but I wasn't sure what sort of colour to go, if it was going to be like all black or a bit blue, but I ended up going with this green and I think it turned out pretty well. Alright, next we got Biker Pogo. Now I was really surprised when I saw him, so I tried to recapture that. I used the Monkey King head instead of just going for like a custom mold, because I think that works a bit better. Um, I went for this like kind of dark grey brownish and I added his um, jumper, his biker gang color, sort of like tag and stuff onto his jumper. Alright, next we got Ben and Christopher. Now I put these together because Christopher, he, you can't really put him alone so I decided he has to just bunch it up with, um, with Ben and I'm using Ben Sparrow Academy outfit. He's got a scar and he's got an angry expression and then Christopher's just a Minecraft head that's been printed with this blue glow. Alright, next. We have old Harlan. Now he's kind of got like an angry expression. I feel like we see this kind of like mad expression a lot. He's got his headphones and his um sweater and his like uh, light tan jacket over with his green shirt. And he's got this like grey um, old hand solo kind of hair, which I think represents it well. And lastly, we have Sparrow Reginald. Now there are a lot of Reginalds to go for, but I decided this one uh, looks the best. As you can see he's wearing his suit with a little Sparrow emblem and a top hat. Um, this is when he is, uh, I'm pretty sure, picking up the Sparrow Kids, so he's, um, yeah, I think he came out really well. And that's it, you can see all the characters here, um, I think they came out alright. Uh, I was trying to fit all the characters in, but I didn't end up, so maybe we could do a part 2 of the CMS series with all the characters that we didn't put in. There's a bunch of Sparrows and other Umbrella Academy characters that I didn't get to add into this 12. So maybe if we do another 12 with some other characters as well, 
I think that could work out. And, and um, thank you for watching. This is MF, my first CMF series, so I'm hopefully going to get better. I've got a couple other ideas for CMS, so I'll see you guys later.